Hyde Park School of Music at Lake Bean Music Academy, and we're going to do Stuff We Like. And today on Stuff We Like, we're going to cover Angel Bot Dawid's album, The Oracle. The Oracle, originally released on cassette, now has gotten the re-release treatment on vinyl. So, one of the first things I can say about this record is its uh, simplicity and beautifulness. Just the record itself. So you have this one single picture of um, Angel in her girlhood. And you can see the community members that uh, whatever she's at, at some event, a public event, you can see they're just all around there dressed in the nines, looking great. Um, Obviously, this is a vintage photo, which is pretty awesome. And you can see that carried over to the back of the design. Obviously, International Anthem does great things. Um, they'll have that sexy Obi strip that comes along the left side of the record. Uh, I'll give you the details of what's going on. Um, the Oracle is at one time very spontaneous, but very meticulous in its production. Um, the performances are great, and it's almost like you're waiting to hear a car wreck, but it never happens, and you get something much more divine in this process. There's a beautiful lo-fi quality to this album due to it being recorded on a cell phone. I can tell you the program that's used, the N-Track 9, um, app that you can find on any Android phone um, because of the limitations of that particular bit of software you have to really kind of dig deep into your performance you really have to pay attention to the nuances of things because you're not able to work with a lot and because Angel was not able to work with a lot as far as production-wise, she managed to put a whole world within this recording just from her own spirit. Um, musically, is Angel doing her thing as a wonderful clarinetist, vocalist, and keyboard player. Um, she's composing in a style that's very old but new at the same time. There's hints of Bach. There's hints of Sun Ra, but then there's hints of like hip hop from the 90s to now. There's all that mixed together, but with a flavor of the South Side of Chicago, and particularly that came out of the art ensemble of Chicago. So it's really kind of cool by it that goes on. Some key standout tracks that I personally love. Um, I like to start with We Are Stars. You have this, this awesome bass line that just carries throughout the whole song and really is the foundation. But then you have this mantra that's chanted over it that we are shining stars over and over and over again. That gives this record a sense of hypnotic motion, which is... Uh, Pretty cool. My child's favorite song on the record is called Black Family. It's an interesting one where you have, it's based on a drum loop and Angel is grooving and creating textures, weaving in and out with her clarinet throughout the whole entire song. I think it's a master class in avant-garde simplicity, if you will. And that track is based on the uh, Lewis book. Thank you. Another standout track is What Should I Tell My Children Who Are Black? It is based around a poem by Dr. Margaret Burroughs and it goes really deep into the complexities of black life, particularly surrounding child rearing and how one is to explain that you are an outcast from the moment of your birth. 
only because of the skin of color of your skin. Uh, pretty powerful track. Music is superb. Um, very haunting, but still has a comfortable warmth to it as well. The album ends on a track called Cape Town, recorded in South Africa. This is a great um, free jazz jam. Um, there's wonderful drumming on this. Um, strong, wonderful, great vocal performance. And it takes up the entirety of side B. So, why is the Oracle important? It's an important album because there's nothing like it in the marketplace today. It's a cultural artifact from the south side of Chicago and it has that power and that weight and that history and the spirit and the industry, the spirit and the energy of the south side of Chicago. So for that alone, if you've never been to the south side of Chicago, this album is almost like a guided tour, sonically. So again, this album is um, The Oracle by Angel Bat Dawi, um, released on the International Anthem Recording Company. And uh, find it. You can find it online. It's a great record. It's Stuff We Like. Again, my name is Brandon Payton Carrillo. Um, founder of the Hyde Park School of Music and Lakebeat Music Academy. And uh, till next time, talk to you later. Mm -hmm.